Hey guys, it's Dave here from Dinner Drums. Welcome to the lesson on how to play Don't Stop Believing by Journey on the Drum. So today's lesson, we're gonna go through the four main drum parts, okay? So this is a challenging song because basically you've got open-handed playing happening. Your left hand is on the hi-hat, while your right hand is playing all these other parts. So today's lesson, my job is to try and simplify this for you so that it's basically gonna be a lot easier to play, all right? So I'm gonna hopefully make this song a little bit easier for you to play by really showcasing the, the right hand part, what's going on there. And um, the left hand part, we'll go through at the start, but after that, it's just doing the same thing over and over, all right? So first of all, we'll go through the left hand part, and all that's happening is your left hand is playing the hats, going one and two and three and four and, all right? And that's just, happening throughout the whole song like that. The other thing that's happening throughout the whole song, as far as the main drum parts here, uh, is, the, is the bass drum. Right? On the one, two, three, four. So the bass drum will be going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So the actual tempo is 118, 118 beats per minute. So we'll have a go with that. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So just practicing that idea, you know, with left hand on the hi hats is going to be very helpful. If playing open handed, like left hand on the hi hat, is very confusing for you, one thing I would recommend is just practicing playing, you know, ordinary everyday playing, just left hand on the hats, and you should find over time that you know you start to feel more and more comfortable with that, All right? And even if you know, even if it's not something you want to do. I think it's a great way to strengthen the, the left hand and make it more powerful because obviously if you're a right-handed player, your right hand can be you know, a lot stronger and faster and more dynamic. So working on your left hand like that, going one and two and three and four and can help a lot. All right, so once we've got the left hand part down with the bass drum, the next thing we're gonna do is look at what's happening with the right hand. Now there's four main beats to the song, okay? So we're gonna look at the first main beat of the song and see what's happening with the right hand. I've actually made a sheet music for this for you. So you've got actually three song sheets to print out. So if you go to the description below, you should see there's a link for, for this. So make sure you hit the link guys and get the sheet music if that's what you want. And okay, so the, the, main, the main part, the right hand, the main part number one. So the right, right hand for main part number one, it's basically playing the, the two on the snare and the four is on the second tom. So it's going one, two, three. Then the second bar is going one, two, three, four. That's the second bar. One, two, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and four. The whole first line for main part number one is going one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And then really the trick is, you know, two things with the song. Number one, getting the right hand parts familiar. So just practicing that over and over. The second trick to the song is getting the left hand playing the heights with the bass drum. If you can do those two parts separately really well, you should be fine adding them together. But it's just about getting comfortable with the right hand part individually and comfortable with the left hand part individually. So let's go through the right hand part again. So it's going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you just practice that until it just becomes natural, all right? So the next step is to try and put the left hand and the bass drum with the right hand part, would sound like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, 
right? Let's try it at a few different tempos. We'll start off about 100 BPM. So one, two, three, four. And then about 118 BPM. One, two, three, four. And there you go, that's the main beat number one in the song. Let's move on to main beat number two. Main beat number two, you've got the snare on the two, because actually each, each beat is broken up into two bars, right? So the first bar is going the snare on the two, and then you've got a bell on the three and, and then a, a second tom on the four. So that bar would be one, You see, just with the right hand alone, it makes it a lot easier. You can kind of hear what's going on. Another thing I like to do when I'm practicing the right hand part is keep the left foot on the one, two, three, four. It just helps to kind of stabilize the time. The second bar goes, the snare on the two, bell on the three, First tom on the three end, and then a floor tom on the four end. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four. Bit tricky, you know, but once again, it's a tricky song, you know, you definitely want to practice the right hand part by itself, right? Another thing, practice each bar individually as well, just so you kind of start to memorize what's going on there. And then we'll try and put those two bars together. One, two, three, four. Excellent. So once we've got that right hand part happening, then you know we're starting and we're starting to feel comfortable with it, right? Like it's not just you can play it, you can actually play it and feel pretty comfortable with it. That's the key. Then we can go ahead and add that left hand and the bass drum, which would be, wish me luck here, like this. Let's try two different tempos starting off around 90 BPM. Two, three, four. And 118 BPM. One, two, three, four. And 
And it's definitely not easy to play, guys. It's definitely not easy to play. It just definitely gets you thinking about things, you know, outside of how you usually would play, right? Because it's open-handed, plus your right hand's moving around, trying to remember all these things. It's definitely a tricky one. So it's a great workout for your mind. <laughs> all right, let's move on to main beat number three. Now, main beat number three, where we've got the right hand in the first bar is going one, two, three, and four. That hasn't changed. That's the same as what we did before, right? And then the second bar goes one and two, three, and four. So that's the same as what it was before. We got the three and on the bow on the right. So it's three and That's the, the second bar. So the first and second bar, just with the right hand, would be one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, three, and four. Hey, let's try this together at around 90 BPM. Just the right hand part. Here we go. You ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And let's try just the right hand at around. 118 BPM. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's tricky. <laughs> so now we're going to add the left hand with a bass drum and we're going to try a few different tempos. But we'll start with, without the metronome, I think. Without the metronome. So it's going to be three, four. One. Let's try that section. A few different tempos. We'll try about 90 BPM. One, two, three, four. One hundred and eighteen. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, we're on to main beat number four. So main beat number four, wow. So main beat number four is actually a four bar pattern. Now we'll have a look at each bar individually. So the first bar, you got a crash on the one. This is all the right hand part, by the way. This is all the right hand part I'm talking about. So the right hand is going crash on the one, snare on the two, on the three and the playing the bell, and then on the four, you're playing the second tom. So it's gonna go. And there you go. So the second bar, the second bar, you've got 
one and on the bell, two on the snare, three back on the bell, and then four on the snare, floor, floor tom on the four and. So it's gonna be one and two, three, four. Right, third bar, you're gonna have the one and on the right hand on the bell, on the bell, and then snare on the two, three on the bell, four on the second time. So it's one and two, three. So it's all about you know just practicing that right hand part and getting to remember it. Right, and the last bar, the fourth bar of the four bar pattern is going to go one and on the bell, two on the snare, three on the bell and on the first tom, four on the snare drum and four and on the floor tom. So you're going... Trick A. <laughs> Tricky. All right, so let's have a go of the all four parts. We're going to slow down a fair bit, but all the four bars, just the right hand. And that's it, that's basically the pattern. We'll try it a few times. Let's try it together at about 90 BPM. So one, two, three, four. So it's definitely tricky, you know, to try and get that smooth as well. You know, I'm probably not 100% there with it yet. I probably need a bit of work on it myself, you know, but um, it's uh, definitely a good challenge, all right? So let's, let's have a go of maybe adding the left hand as well. But before we do, actually, let's have a go of trying that at, at the actual tempo, 118 together. Just the right hand part. One, two, three, four. All right, next part, we're gonna have a go. Add your left hand and the right foot together, try and put it all together. First, we'll try it without the metronome and see what happens. Wish me luck on this one, so go. Let's try it a few different tempos together. Let's try, you know, just because this is a bit of a weird pattern, let's try something down to around 80 first. And we'll go from there. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three.
And let's push that to about 100 BPM. Here we go. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. All right, lastly, let's try it. Last tempo, 118 beats per minute together. And here we go, ready? One, two, three, four. Make sure, to, make sure to download the three drum parts to that. It should be in the link in the description section below. And you'll have, uh, you know, hopefully, three drum sheets to download, like everything we went through in the lesson all right, we, is, is actually here. So that's going to be really helpful to learn this song uh, properly and easily, too. I right, hope if you got some value from the lesson, please hit the like button and you know, uh, subscribe for more videos like this. And guys, I hope you got some real value. If you have any questions or uh, comments for songs you want to learn you know any future lessons or songs you want to learn hey pop them in the comments section below and, and uh, we can connect that way and I'm gonna make sure that you're getting the value from this channel guys so awesome thank you so much have a great day guys see you next time